Welcome back to the infamous TechFlow Top 5. Today, it's Office Edition. We hope you guys like all of the products in today's video. If there is anything you like, let us know which one it is in the comment section down below, as we will be giving away one of the items to one of the lucky commenters. So guys, with that out of the way, let's jump straight in to this video. At number one, we have the Ugreen Nexode 200 watt USB C charger. Personally, I have been searching for the all round best charger for all of my devices. You know, the one charger that just does it all. And I think, I think I've landed on it. So this absolute weapon can charge up to six devices at the same time. In doing that, four of them can be USB-C and then you have two of them for those legacy devices, old school USB-A. There is the odd time where I do need to charge something up that has USB-A and one of those things is actually my battery charger, believe it or not. It plugs in via USB-A and I'm constantly charging batteries up here. I have this actually under the monitor on my desk. Super, super quick and easy to access. It can charge, let's say, a MacBook, a super power hungry device, and it can provide up to 200 watts of total power, which means it can pretty much max out the MacBook's USB-C port, even with some headroom for the other devices, like I've mentioned, you can fit six things into this. Device that's plugged into it. This at the moment in 2022 is one of my favorite chargers. It's not cheap, but it's got a permanent place on my desk. Now coming up next and taking a little bit of a ranking down the price range, we've got the Moonside Lamp One, which comes in just under 60 pounds here in the UK. Now this is an awesome little USB powered light that has 120 individually addressable dynamic color zones, allowing you to paint color on it using the application. Now this Moonside Lamp One can connect to your phone and be controlled by the app, either via Wi-Fi or Bluetooth. The Bluetooth was absolutely rock solid and it allows you to go in and customize this thing to your heart's content. The reason why I've included this is because for such a cheap product, it has some higher end features. For example, it has USB-C for its connectivity so you can actually get this thing powered up. So this thing can actually react to sound and music in the room so it can actually dance to certain tracks and I found this to be really, really responsive. Obviously, because this thing can connect to Wi-Fi, it can be integrated with your smart home. So things like Google Home, she that should not be named. You can even integrate it with if this, then that. So you can do certain things like, let's say if your back door is open and I'm sat here gaming, flash it so I know that the back door is open. Like that is really, really cool down here at this price range. And above all, this Moonside light is just really, really mesmerizing to look at. Honestly, when I first took it out the box and get it set up, I couldn't take my eyes off it. The way it just moves around nice and slowly, especially at night when it's nice and dark. This thing, well, I absolutely love it and it's got a permanent place on my desk. Wow, okay, there is some cool things in this top five. Coming in at number three, we have the Devoom Pixu 64. Now this comes in at 149 pounds. Pretty premium, but you will see why in just a second. Now the longtime viewers of our channel TechFlow will know that in the background of a few of our TechFlow videos over the past four years, we've had the Devoom TVU, and it's featured, like I say, in a lot of our backgrounds, if you know you know. Now this is basically a pixel art creator, okay? So it's a slab that you can set up in black and basically loads of pixels on it and you can have it do whatever you would like it to. You can physically just draw on it and have your own little designs or it's even intelligent and works with a smart app and has all of these different 
I'm gonna call them themes. One of my favorite themes is the YouTube theme. So you can actually go in the app, upload the YouTube theme, type in your YouTube account, and then it will go ahead and pull data down from the cloud, like how many views your channel is on, your subscriber count, and along with different things like the weather and the time, and display it all live on your little board. Simple things, let's say you're streaming on Twitch, you can have your followers on, on there, or how many live viewers you've got on your Twitch chat. But the thing that I found really cool with this is it actually has integration with certain games so you could let's say run the apex one and it can display how many kills you've currently got in your apex game so let's say you have it in the background of your stream it will be there live updating to the game that you're actually playing i've seen obviously like youtube live youtube subscriber accounts done before but integration with games is something new and something i've only seen on this product now obviously it works by connecting to your wi-fi that's how it connects to the internet so it supports A, B, G and N, no 5 gigahertz, as is usually the case with all of these smart things, but that isn't a problem. You download the app on your phone, you can scroll through all of the different presets that are already there. And honestly, guys, that is absolutely thousands. And you can even, if you don't want like a preset, you can just have it display something cool. I have this thing on my pegboard in my office because my pegboard is black, so it blends in really, really well and it hides the cable. I think this thing looks awesome and it is the first thing people see when they come into my office and they always go up to it and they're like oh my god what is that so i had to include it in this top five now coming in at number four we have the deru a900 gaming mouse now this retails for 70 pounds here in the uk and it is my go-to mouse to throw in my travel bag this thing weighs 77 grams and it can honestly slide around on your mouse pad super super quick it has a USB that you can plug into your computer which works over 2.4 gigahertz and that gives you a one millisecond response time. It can also work over Bluetooth, so let's say you need to nip out in a hurry, this thing will work with your iPad or literally anything over Bluetooth. And if this thing runs out of power, you can also connect it via the built-in USB-C, which is really nice to see. It's the way they've actually designed the left and right click. So it actually doesn't matter on which point you actually apply pressure to the left or right click. You can do it up here or you can do it down here and the amount of force needed is exactly the same. Why would you want this? Well let's say you play numerous different types of games for example and in playing those games you like to change your grip. Now like I mentioned this is my go-to mouse for traveling because it's lightweight. I don't actually use it at my desk. And there's one more thing I liked about it. Oh yeah 15 minutes. 15 minutes of charge which actually gives you about 150, 100 160 hours worth of use using the 2.4G USB receiver. Great for the great for the price and super lightweight. Great for my small hands. It lives in my travel bag constantly. Now Deru actually sent out their mechanical keyboard as well as the mouse and I wasn't actually going to include this but I love this thing so much it has a constant position on my desk behind me replacing one of my infamous Logitech keyboards that I haven't been able to replace for about two years. First off just listen to the sound of this thing. Sounds so good. Now like the mouse, it has tri-mode connectivity, so you can use the inbuilt USB-C on the bottom, you can use the included USB adapter at 2.4G, or you can simply just hook up via Bluetooth. All of my testing has been done with the 2.4G adapter. Now, I'm not usually a fan of numerical keyboards, you know, with these numbers on, because I think they're too big, and I am more of just a typer and a gamer. I'm never really using the numpad. But here, we get away with it, because this is about 20% smaller than most keyboards that have a numpad on them. The other thing I like about this keyboard is it has a little display on it in the top corner. Now, this isn't doing anything fancy other than telling you the current battery percentage of this keyboard. I like the fact that it's a number, though, as other battery keyboards that I've had in the past just start to flash red when they're at sort of 20 or 10 percent. With this you actually at a glance can see the exact battery percentage which isn't something I've ever seen on a keyboard before. Now it has what's called a gasket key structure which gives you much more accurate key presses and they are super super responsive so the actual travel of these keys only have to go down slightly, you can hear my computer dinging in the background there, they only have to go down slightly for it to register which means means this keyboard is super, super responsive and it's actually making me a more accurate typer because I can't just mash on the keyboard. You've got to be super, super delicate with this. You see the space bar here? 
We get a standard click in the middle, but usually if you click off to the edge, the space bar will rock and it won't properly register the click, basically. Now with these balance bars, no matter where you click the keyboard, and obviously the space bar is the easiest one to, to demonstrate this on. But there you guys have it. Those are five cool gadgets that I've had in my office and enjoyed using for the last month, whether they are in my travel bag or they're sat on my desk. These are things that have, I don't know, just bettered my life and I felt like I wanted to share them. Like I say, guys, we'll be giving one of them away. So just let us know what is your favorite item in the comment section down below, guys. Leave us a like if you enjoyed. My name's been Alex, this has been Techflow, and we will see you in the next one. Peace.